So I would urge Lai Xingde and his team to really study history. You do not need to go further, for example, as they did in 1624. They just need to go back to the Cairo Declaration and the Potsdam Proclamation, which formed the pillars of the post-Second World War international order. In both documents, it clearly dictated that Japan, which occupied Taiwan from 1895 to 1945, need to surrender Taiwan back to China as one of the preconditions of Japan's unconditional surrender. And that's what Japan did, surrendering Taiwan back to China, meaning there was only one China and Taiwan became part of China. Uh, therefore, for whatever uh, justifications, whatever named reasons, etc., that they want to come up with, it cannot stand the truth. It cannot stand the test of realities. And basically, by promoting Taiwan as a sovereign, independent state. What does he want? Does he want the resurrection of the unfinished civil war? And does he really believe that anyone in the world, including the United States, really want to get involved in the refleshed up civil war between the two sides of the Taiwan Strait? Does he really believe that Japan, which unconditionally surrendered in 1945, and is obligated by its instrument of unconditional surrender in 1945, would ever have any right to get involved in the situation across the two sides of the Taiwan Strait. I think Lai ching -de and his team are either brain dead or they try to be as sophisticated as possible, but their sophistication cannot stand the light of the sun. And that is the crux of the matter.